Hey guys, my name's Shani and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a full face of makeup using new products. I have recently got a lot of new stuff that I really want to try out and share my opinions with you. Just before we get into this makeup look, I want to say thanks so much to ry.com.au for sponsoring this video. They have sent me so many makeup products to try out and I'm really excited. So basically what RY is is like a retail website that sells lots of makeup, hair care, skin care, a lot of different brands. There's like drugstore and high end and you're gonna die. They had my favorite brand of hair products, the GHD. Oh my god, I'm so excited about these. I've been using GHD since I was in high school. I've gone through I think three of them and this is by far the nicest one I've ever got. This is the um, platinum, I think, what is it? The Copper Lux collection. How amazing this is! I'm so obsessed with it. I lost my other one. Well, I didn't lose it. I left it at the hotel. Ugh, so annoying. But I also got the professional hair dryer as well. Look how luxurious this is. I can't. Oakley Doakley. So the first product I'm starting out with is the Mellow Cosmetics Brow Pomade in the shade Caramel. I'm just gonna carve out the top of my brow up here. Oh wow. Oh. It definitely is very wet when you apply it. Okay, my first impression is I don't like it at all, which is kind of disappointing because I did try their brow powder and I really liked it. But the consistency is just too wet and slippery and it's it's way too hard to apply. For right now, I've tried it two times and it's just not working for me. So I'm just going to use something else and I'll be back. Okay, so the eyebrows are done. Let's go ahead and move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Palette. I've used this like once, but I haven't used it on camera. It was such a long time ago. So I'm excited to dive into this palette. When I first look at this, I think it's not really like my kind of colors, but I did want to get it to see what it was like because I do like Jeffree Star's um, liquid lipsticks and stuff like that. So I thought this would be good as well. Um, let's go ahead and start with the shade Courtney up here and blend that in the crease. These colors are really pigmented and blend beautifully. Like that just took two seconds to blend out. The next shade that I'm taking is Star Pal, which is this really bright pink. Let's give it a swatch. Oh my God, that is pigmented. So that color is going directly in my crease. Oh my God, that's such a pretty pink. This is so Jeffree Star, this color. And again, just taking that brown shade and blending up here so there's no harsh line. Okay, so now... <clears throat> wow. Now taking some MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. I'm just going to take a small angled brush and line right above my crease to make a cut crease with concealer all the way from inner corner to outer corner. I did this in a few videos back, but I really like the technique and I want to show you guys again. And then going in with a concealer brush, I'm just going to pack this all over my lid so we have a nice clean cut. And then I'm going in with this gold shade all over my lid. Oh, that is so glittery. Oh. Okay, maybe I'll use my finger. Well, that's better. Now moving on to the face, I'm using the Becca Backlight Primer Filter. This one is from RY. I have been wanting to try this for so long. Oh my god, it just has like a really nice pearly iridescent. Oh my god, I'm done. This is amazing. Now for foundation, I'm using the Becca Aquiluminous Perfecting Foundation in the shade Medium. Ooh, it says shake well before you use it. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't like that because it's really messy and nearly dropped it. <laughs> Why don't they just have a pump? The first thing that I'm noticing is the color is really nice to my fake tan. Oh my God, it's blending really quickly. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use a beauty blender or a flat top kabuki brush, but the consistency was quite runny. So I thought a beauty blender would work best. So I'd say that one layer isn't enough um, for like my medium to full coverage. 
you want to have a bit more of a flawless base but you could definitely still see a bit of redness through the first layer I'm just gonna blend the rest in on my forehead with a foundation brush so I can go around my eyebrows um, first impression of this it has a beautiful finish I love how you can see the Becca primer still like beaming through it but is this patchy like I don't know Ugh. It looks a little bit patchy on my cheeks, but for now, let's move on to concealer. This is the Napoleon Purtis Pro Palette Concealer. I've never used Napoleon before. Well, actually I have, but I was like a fetus, so... What I'm going to do first is take this shade right here and put this on the inner corners of my eyes to cancel any discoloration. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Oh wow, it's blending really nicely. So as you can see from both sides, this side looks really bright and awake. So I'm really happy with that concealer. I'm also taking these two light shades and putting it down my nose and on my chin and in between my brows just for a bit of a glow, a bit of a highlight. You know how it is. I'm just baking under my eyes. If you guys know of any new setting powders for under the eyes, let me know. The reason why I don't have any new products of these two is because I feel like these are boring. I like to get new highlighters and blushes because they're like fun. Now going in with this Glow Minerals Golden Medium Press Powder. I'm just going to use this under my eyes a little bit because I want to highlight. Ooh, that has a lot of coverage. My god. Now it's time for the lower lash line. Let's finish off the eyes. So first of all, I'm going to go in with this pink color and put this really close from the outer corner to inner corner. And then I'll have to take another color there as well because I don't want it to be like too pink. Could look like I have pink eye. Oh my god, this is like neon. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the shade Vanity and put this really, really close to my lash line just so it's not all pink. You know what I mean? Because this is a little, this is looking crazy. I kind of love it though. Then for mascara, I'm going in with the Revlon Super Length Mascara. I haven't used this one before. Oh, whoa, that wand is massive. I'm just going to zigzag this in my brows to get all of that eyeshadow out. I wouldn't say this is the best mascara I've ever used. Now just going ahead and adding some Lily Lashes. I'll add my discount code down below and I'll be right back. Yay, the lashes are on. Now let's go in with a little bit of Diamantes. I saw a girl on Instagram put Diamantes underneath the eyebrow and it looked amazing. I'll insert her picture right here. Um, but I thought I would give it a go for myself. So I'm just going to take these yellowy gold um, little Diamantes and just put them right there. I'm going to start by putting some eyelash glue under my brow so they actually stick. So the Diamantes are on. I actually think they look pretty cool. I didn't have enough to go all the way across, but that's okay. Let's move on to the bronzer. So I'm taking this Radical Instaglam bronzing powder in 02. I've never heard of this brand before. This is exciting. Can you open it? Oh, got him. So this is what the color looks like. Let's go in and bronze the cheeks, honey. Oh, oh my god, that color is woo, really nice. I love it. And also around my forehead for a bit of a sun-kissed glow. I can't believe my forehead's still glowy from that um, Becca primer. Usually when I put all this powder over the top, it like just goes completely matte. I'm also going to take this Stila Starlight Star Bright palette and I'm going to take this bronzy shade right here. I've never, mm, I've never felt anything so soft in my life. If you guys ever go to a Mecca, just watch these. They feel incredible. So let's see what it looks like. I just want a bit of a, um, like a sheen on the cheek. So I thought this would be perfect. Oh, that is stunning. Uh, oh, my bad. That is a highlight, that bronzy shade. I put it all over my bronzer. I always bring my bronzer too low on this side. So I'm just going to clean that up right there. Now time for blush. I'm going in with this gorgeous cosmetics palette. Oh, so this one has some highlighting shades for like under the eyes and then highlighting shades for up here and then some blushes. So the blush that I'm going to use is I think this one right here. 
just gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, that is very pigmented. Ooh, I like it. Stunning. Let's go ahead and brush off this bake. Ooh, look how crispy clean that is. Let's get ready for some highlighter. Spraying my MAC Fix Plus on this brush. And the highlighter that I'm using today is from Glow Minerals in the shade Luster. This is a shimmer brick. It has four different highlighters in here and they look absolutely incredible. Look at that. So the colors that I'm going to take is I think these two right here. Okay, you guys ready? Because I have a feeling this is going to be really pigmented because there's a lot of my brush right now. Oh, I thought pink would match in perfectly with my eyes, but not like overpowering, just like a champagne -y pink. So these two mixed together are absolutely stunning. Are you kidding me right now? Also putting this on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Down my nose. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. The liquid lipstick that I'm using today is from Stila. It is the Stay All Day liquid lipstick in the shade Caramello. I picked this up yesterday. I'm so excited because I've never tried a Stila liquid lipstick. So let's see how this goes. It's a beautiful pinky nude and I think I'm going to love it. Because when I swatched it, I was like, yes, please. Oh, it smells pretty good too. It's not like overpowering. You know what I mean? You're kidding me. This is so good to apply and the color I'm done the only thing that I don't like about this is the applicator is like I would say a little bit too long I wish it was just like half the size of what it is so then you could like just have a lot more precision when you are applying it but the formula is incredible it's not like drying at all but it is drying matte very quickly last but not least I'm taking the Scandinavia the makeup finishing spray I have seen this floating around YouTube forever. <gasps> Ooh, baby. Okay, I'm gonna go fix my hair and I'll be right back. So here we have the finished makeup look. I hope you guys love it. I'm actually obsessed with how it turned out. It's very festival appropriate. If you took off the Diamantes, I think you could wear it on the weekend if you like to go all out there with colors and stuff. But yeah, I love it. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you and I will see you in my next video.